So a couple of weeks from now, there is a comet on the west side that we should be able to see. It is called Comet Neowise. Comet Neowise is pretty big comet and also it's going to be bright if it continues the way it is doing right now. So right now it is at the Mag 1.9. That means you can see the comet without a telescope. Uh, not really bright, maybe like a star, but you should be able to see it. So that's a pretty good opportunity for us to take a picture. Maybe in a week, maybe in two weeks, we'll see. So if you see the comet C2020 F3 Neowise, the observations looks pretty promising. They are going up to Mag 0. In some of the observations, they are reporting close to 1 or 1 1.9. And most of these observations are coming from either Poland or France from those areas mainly, Germany. So this is where they are getting reported from. So it's pretty promising for us to see this comet C2020 F3 Neowise, maybe without a telescope. It is coming on the west side. And when you go to the tip of Arsa Major constellation in the northwest area, Northwest, right? Uh, around 18th July, couple of weeks from now. And if you get closer and closer, you should be able to see the exact location. I'm putting the stars here just for the reference. So you can actually figure out it's on the northwest side pretty close to the Arsa Major constellation, to the tip. That's where you should be able to see, if it is visible, I think I'm going to post another video with a lot more details. I'll keep an eye starting, you know, in a couple of days and keep looking at it. Right now, this comet is setting before the sun, but in a couple of days, goes the other way. So this comet stays up and sun goes down and that's when we start getting the opportunity to see it. It's pretty close to the horizon so I don't know if we can actually really get a view, uh, an opportunity actually to see it. Uh, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. We'll try to see if we can actually see this comet. The second comet we have an opportunity to see is Comet Lemon and this is visible in the west side of the sky. As you can see it is pretty close to the Leo constellation between the crater and the Leo on the west side. If I am able to take some pictures, I will show you all those pictures. So last night I was able to take the moon, they said there is some lunar eclipse that is not really visible. So I try to take some pictures of the moon anyway. And also the moon is actually sitting pretty close to the Jupiter and the Saturn. I try to take some pictures. It was so many fireworks, lot, very much cloudy. I couldn't take a whole lot of pictures at all, but I'll share those pictures with you. So if you are new to this channel, I take pictures of comets, galaxies, lot of deep space objects. So please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like these videos. Thanks for watching.